Scorpio, what is going on? It is Scorpio Rance Tarot. I am back at it again to let you know what is the energies going on for March 2019. Thank you so much for clicking the video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys to everyone who's been booking personal private readings. If you would like to book a personal private reading, you can do so by clicking the About tab on my YouTube page. There is a hyperlink in the link section that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it's Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. All right. And if this video resonates, if you want to send a love donation, if you want to drop a dollar or two in the PayPal, the link is in the description. All right. Let's get into the reading. Thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here today for the sign of Scorpio. Please give us guidance for the month of March 2019. Thank you so much for blessing us and helping us through this transition and this personal movement and this progression of growth and elevation throughout 2019, Father God. We left a lot of things back in 2018 and we have rebirthed ourselves and we are flying, soaring high like a phoenix in the sky, Father God. Thank you so much for putting that fire in us. Thank you so much for giving us that energy and that determination and that know-how and just belief and faith. Just everything is going to transition into the better. And I thank you so much for all of the blessings and all of the lessons that we have received from you in the past, present, and future, Father God. Please give Give us guidance for the sign of Scorpio for March 2019. Thank you so much. All righty. Thank you so much. Alright. Thank you so much. Please give the sign of Scorpio some guidance for the month of March. Thank you so much. Okay. This says the fairy of the divine hand intoxication distorted view and overindulgence so basically what i'm getting from this card scorpio is i feel like um you guys can have rose colored glasses on for somebody that really doesn't deserve that view of admiration that you have for them i feel like you are um only seeing I mean, and it's a good thing to only see the positive and the love and light in the best out of a person in a situation. Um, but not to the point where you're overlooking the true facts and, you know, that this person is really toxic and not healthy for you. And I feel like possibly you guys might be... Um, Maybe overindulging. You know how Scorpios can be sometimes just like um, maybe someone could be drinking too much, smoking too much, just overindulging on certain things, maybe um, trying to deal with certain elements going on in their life that um, are not satisfactory at this current moment. So let's see what it says. It says distorted view. Yeah, you're looking at somebody. You're giving someone too much. All right, so let me turn this there for one second. It says, the fairy of divine hand has turned up in the reading. It is ever so likely that you are being urged by friends, loved ones, or even your own self to more accurately estimate the power of addictive behaviors and substance that you can have, um, that substance can have over you. You know how it is. You start having a piece of candy, some soda, maybe a little bit of junk food, and then before long, you have more. And another habit, such as judging yourself or others too harshly, thinking too neg negatively, or giving up early on exercise or good health practices, you are 
indulging in. Gossip too falls under the fairy tale, um, the fairy of the divine hands domain. While it can be wickedly delicious and it can always leave such a sour taste. So when she shows up, know the true gift that she offers is awareness of what you're denying. Don't ignore the fairies of divine hand. Thank her for pointing out your addictive tendencies, acknowledging their power, and disengaging and finding life support in living clear, bright, bright ways that don't leave you feeling drained, disoriented, and disenchanted. The fairy speaks. I am here to reveal to you what will tempt you. It is delightful, this thing that is being offered, and surely it won't hurt. I am the fairy of divine hand, and I appear to you when you are blinded to what you must see. Come and truly examine what it is that is being offered to you underneath this apparently harmful fun. Spending time, partying, distraction, attempted lie, disoriented by fear, and things that may be appear to be quite different than how they truly are. But here look closely. You are being you are beginning to see what will take place if you continue down this path. If you sugarcoat the possibilities of what this may of, of where this may end. Do not push down the feelings and the warnings you have. Instead, come a little closer and look. Do you begin to understand what seems such a a little thing may indeed change your lives. Take a moment, look, think, and connect to your deeper wisdom and decide whether you will join in with what is tempting what is what is tempting you or whether you will um watch a little will you watch a while longer and make a long a, a wise decision instead. Excuse me for my third grade reading. You guys know I'll be having my days, child. So the true message, it says, stop, stop right now. Your intuition, your inner sight and clear vision is sending you a very clear warning. A red flag has just gone up and it is time to stop and look and listen. But going forward, your higher self, your clear sight wants you to stop and think before simply taking this word of temptation. Someone is offering you. It may be. In the form of a secret relationship, junk food, alcohol at a party, sex before you're ready, or behaving in ways that is unsafe and disrespectful, speaking harmful words and thoughts that could scar people for a long, long time. This moment's indulgence could have long-term repercussions that could lead you away from well-being, clarity, and harmony. You know when this temptation comes that you do not need to flee. You do not need to indulge. You do not need to curse and berate this lovely, very earnest fairy has a clear message to stop and truly look at what is taking place. Know what simply needs to be paused, to be quiet, to be clear, and know that one of your fiercest addictions is seeking you out and you are wavering and you're caught up in its delirium. This is not an opportunity to escape. This is a chance to break free. Lord, my reading today, y'all forgive me for that reading, child. That was choppy. That was chopped and screwed like DJ screwed, child. Anyway, so, yeah, I feel like, and you know, y'all know I'm a Scorpio. Y'all know I'm a Scorpio. So I could definitely say I can relate to that in a sense. Like, child, you know, I like me a little cocktail or whatever. So, you know, I do like to have me a little cocktail when, you know, I'm winding down after my kids don't went to sleep and I'm watching my little shows and stuff like that or whatever. So, you know, and you know, if you look, sure. I don't I don't do that all the time, but I do do realize that when I hang out with my friends, I drink more than I would. So, you know, and then also, you know, even when I'm hanging out, because I know I have certain friends that look too much celebration, you know, you partying too much. So, you know, 
I have certain friends that they drink a hell of a lot more than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't drink like that. But I do realize that when I'm around their influence sometimes that, you know, shoot, they're having another drink. I'll have another drink too. Shoot, what, what does it hurt? You know? And don't let your friends negatively um, impact your decisions where you are partying and you are, you know, celebrating too much normally than you would. So... What is this? It's someone um, being off balance because it's keeping you off balance and it's not it's not beneficial to your to your finance and career, honestly. Waiting on a message to move forward. Waiting on a message to move forward after um Hmm. I feel like you're waiting to see if the smoke has cleared, honestly, or that you're even, um, hmm. Okay. So let's check this out. So I feel like you've been in a moment of celebration, honestly, because I do feel like that there has been a lot of changes and I feel like that you did clear some elements um, out of your life. Um, I do feel like possibly during the time of this transition that you might have picked up some bad habits. Um, because you had a little bit more time on your hand, maybe you've been spending a little bit more time with your friends. Like I said, I know that I have. And maybe you could have been picking up other people's bad habits, celebrating a little bit too much, okay? So, this is saying that someone is releasing something that they realize is not, um, you know, good for their physical world. It's not good for their physical world. They're putting something down that is just not helping them in their current situation, because they're focusing on their foundation and they're letting go of things that are not resonating with the growth of their foundation. Currently, right now, I feel like um, Scorpio is waiting to receive a message that the coast is clear that they can move forward. Because, like I said, that there was some destruction. There was some destruction. There was some destruction. I feel like there was a lot of things that um, was destroyed in the past and you're waiting for the coast to clear but so that you can move forward. Okay? You dropped something that, that had you off balance. You're celebrating because you dropped something that had you off balance. And you um, are looking for a message to see if it's okay if the coast is clear so that you can move forward. But... Uh, I feel like there's something that's going to come along that you don't particularly, that you weren't particularly expecting. There's something that's going to come along that you weren't expecting. Um, something that you didn't see coming. And um, I don't think that this is something that you can avoid. I feel like this might have been something that you avoided trying to clear up during this sweep where, where you were coming through clearing out your atmosphere you were getting rid of a lot of things but I feel like there was maybe something internally that you weren't addressing and getting rid of and I feel like maybe it's something maybe that has to deal with you because this is the Scorpio card in the Scorpio reading and this is in reverse so this might symbolize as well that um, while you're waiting for the coast to clear to see if the smoke has cleared from what you destroyed before so that you can go forth, there's something that you didn't destroy that you were avoiding to destroy. And what the Lord is saying that, ah, 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 ah. Okay? So, you can't go forward until we address this. You can't get around this. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to go back to this tower moment and something got to come down. You know? Something has to come down. Something else has to be destroyed before we can go forward. Because whatever this is, it's tainting your environment. Whatever this is, it's tainting your environment. And it's something that you might 
you know, it's something that, and then it's something that is, is, it looks like it might be negatively affecting this woman's children. Okay, so I don't know, it could be, it could be sadness, it could be, I mean, honestly, it does look like, you know, like, this woman is partying too much. So it looks like maybe someone is, because they're, they're free, they're free of a lot of things, maybe they just been partying too much and they've been celebrating too much in this new lap of luxury and newfound freedom and just enjoyment i just feel like maybe certain people are enjoying a little bit too much and it's like yeah you did put down a lot of things and you're waiting to move forward to take your last step but it's like you can't take your last step until you address this thing that you're trying to avoid right now and right now you know it's something that's tainting the environment where you and your kids are all right and Spirit is basically saying that uh, maybe you need to take a little bit more time going back into that hermit stage and work on certain on certain things inside to really get a clear view and really get that clear balance and, you know, grab onto that star energy that you have inside because, you know, you've overcome a lot of things, but I feel like you got to take maybe just a little bit more time to get certain things balanced out here, okay? There's a lot of twos and threes and threes. Two, two, three, three, three. Please give me guidance and love for Scorpio. Soulmate. Alright. This. Soulmate separation. Not letting your friends help you. This situation doesn't resonate with you spiritually. Y'all not on the same page. Y'all don't have the same. You need a retreat. Alright. So, I feel like for a lot of the Scorpios, for some people, it could be that you are celebrating too. Like, you just got a little bit off track because y'all did separate from this toxic person. And y'all are celebrating and y'all are chilling with y'all friends. And y'all just picked up drinking a little bit too much or maybe hanging out with your friends a little bit too much. And Spirit just wants you to get focused and pay more attention to your family because... Possibly your friends are being, I mean, your kids are being affected because maybe they don't want to be over their grandmother's house while you go out and you're hanging out with your friends every weekend. You know, they want to be with you. And maybe before it might have been maybe once a month. Now it's like almost every weekend that you're going out. And it's like your kids are just like, you know, they done been in school all week. So when the weekend comes, they just want to kind of just chill in the house and be with their mom. They want to be in their house. They want to be at home. And I feel like they haven't they haven't been at home or just the home environment isn't comfortable. And I feel like you guys need to clean up and, you know, change your furniture, change, like spruce things up, change things around, like clean your environment up, make your environment different, you know. Like maybe so you guys been celebrating too much that y'all are not the house ain't tidy enough or something like that. You know, that's also what I'm getting. And yeah, it's certain things about you that you need to change. It's not about nobody else this time. It's about you, Scorpio, that you need to change certain toxic habits and addictions and things that you were holding on to that you need to change and some of you guys are still holding on to certain people it's this you know someone that you have a soul tie with that you need to separate from 
that you need to separate from and it's possible it's possible that maybe this soul tie situation right here that you need to separate from i feel like possibly because you're trying to deal with the situation internally yourself because you really don't want to give you don't give a shit about what your friends got to say because you're looking at them like y'all situation ain't peaches and herb neither so i'm not really taking no advice from y'all because y'all doing y'all own fuck shit so you know what i'm saying like i feel like You've been trying to deal with the situation on your own internally because you don't really want to hear what your friends got to say. But at the same time, you know that what you want and what this person wants isn't the same thing. And I think that you really did think this person was going to forever be in your life and things was going to work out. And it's not working out. And I just feel like it, you know that it's time to retreat and possibly for the people that are still dealing with this situation they know that they have to retreat and it's just been you know it's, it's just been something that they've been dealing with on their own a lot and they've just been drinking and i feel like in order for them to not let it stress them out that much i feel like they just try to block it out by spending time with their friends uh-huh let go of control issues yeah let go of trying to control this, this situation and let it unfold naturally. Yeah, it's time to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself about these things that you need to change, okay? You know that you need to move from this situation, and it's cool, you know. It, you know, you know that you need to separate from this situation. Once you do... Don't try to control the universe and, and worry so much. I have so much expectations on when, how, and why things are supposed to happen. You know? Because you can't control the universe in that way. You can't control the universe in that way. Just allow things to happen naturally. Do what you need to do and allow things to happen naturally. And chill off, off of the drinking a little bit. And you need to really have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself about these things that you need to change and then as soon as you come to the first step is self-acknowledgement you know the first step is self-acknowledgement so you got to acknowledge within yourself that these things need to change i need to let this situation go this is not my soulmate this is a toxic you know soul tie that i have here i need to separate I don't really want to get no advice from my friends. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this by myself, but I don't need to balance it by balancing it with a cup. This person don't want what I want. This person don't want to be married. So what the fuck am I wasting my time on it for? You know? Let me stop trying to control this situation and just let the universe do what it got to do. And I just need to have a serious heart-to-heart -heart conversation about which is about myself. And I feel for some of you guys... For some of you guys, like, y'all just didn't see this coming. You know, I really do feel like for some of the Scorpios, y'all been really trying to hold on tooth and nail. Because, you know, we all fixed energy. Some of y'all been trying to hold on to a relationship. Third party. Yep. Y'all been trying to hold on to and seeing the signs. Yep. Unawakened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of y'all were trying to hold on to a situation. The dark night of the soul. This union. Yeah, this. Yeah, this. Okay. Scorpio. Ooh, that flew all the way over there. What does that say? Destruction. Thank you. Okay. Father God, thank you. Okay, so listen. I feel for some of you guys that you've been trying to hold on to this relationship and this is not a traditional relationship this this situation like it says this is a third party situation you are the third party in this situation and you seen the signs of it you seen the signs like that's why your antenna's been up that's why your antenna's been up scorpio that's why your antenna's been up but at the same time y'all are not really paying attention to the signs you seen the signs that this was a third party but you're not really, you know, you weren't really paying attention to the signs. You were unawakened still, you know. I feel like you still had so much faith and so much hope in this situation that this will work out. You know? Mm-mm. It wasn't going to work. And not only that, 
I feel like this union really brings a dark side out of you. Like, it's something about, you see that dark night of the soul? This union brings a darkness out of you. And it needs to be destroyed. Like, this, whoever this person is that some of you guys are trying to avoid ending this union y'all need to get rid of this person you need to destroy this union because it brings a darkness out of you i feel like this person in this third party situation and stuff like that it angers you and this person plays with your emotions and they toy with you and they toy with you and you need to and and i feel like this is somebody that you've been trying to get away from this is something that you've been trying to get away from. And possibly this relationship is an addiction. I feel like this relationship is an addiction for some of you guys. and it, it, But it taints your environment. It taints your environment. And some of you guys have been trying to avoid cleaning this up. And, and really finally ending this with this death card being in reverse. But you're not going to see this coming. This, this was a third party. The signs was there. You ignored them. You were being unawakened thinking that you can change this person and you can't. And this person, I feel like this person that you're dealing with, in regards to that dark night of the soul, I'm not taking it as though, like, um, this person makes you do any, like, real crazy shit or nothing like that. It's just like this person drives you to drink. This person drives you to, you know... Take on and do things that is not healthy for your body because maybe you're stressing or you're overthinking. And, you know, if you're dealing with a third party situation and you're seeing all the signs and you're just trying to figure out, like, what the fuck is going on here? You know, and it made you uncomfortable. It made your environment uncomfortable. Do you see what I'm saying? And this situation doesn't need to be in your environment. It doesn't need to be in your environment anymore. And. That's why you need to you need to drop this. You need to drop this. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have any material value in your life, Scorpio. Whoever this person is doesn't offer any material value. If you are the third party, or if they have a third party dealing with you, somebody on the side. And like I said, I'm seeing all these three three threes. I'm like, I see three threes. Like, come on now. But at the same time, it's like you're definitely moving forward. You're trying to move forward and you're trying to have some changes in your life. But you can't, you can't have step. You can't have step. You see? <clears throat> and it's like you're not trying to be a coward no more. Because I feel like in the, in the past, you really didn't want to face this situation. I feel like you were facing this situation. What is this? Yeah, you're not being a coward no more. I feel like you're facing... Your darkness. You, you're, you're facing that dark night of the soul. You're facing what is really true, truly going on inside and why you cannot let this situation go. Do you see what I'm saying? You are, you know, not being a coward to face this shit. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to be dependent on trying to receive love from this person anymore. I feel like you've been, like... Dependent on trying to get this person to, to love you, to accept you, to, you know, love you the way that you love them. And you're not afraid to say that anymore. You're not afraid to say that anymore. You're not afraid to accept that and address that anymore. And you, you don't want to be dependent on feeling like that no more. Like this person got a third party and you see the sign. So it's just like, why am I going to continue to... Keep my eyes closed and not be awakened to the fact that I'll never be the only one. You know, and this person brings the fucking worst out of me. And you this per you feel scorned. Oh, scorned and ruthless. You know? <laughs> the dark night of the soul. This person brings this out of you. And Scorpio, y'all know how we can be. Don't deal with someone that pushes you to this level, that brings you to this level, because it feels like no matter of what, there's always going to be a third party energy there. It doesn't matter if you're the main person, 
if you broke up and then you came back and now you're the third party because they got somebody else that they did. It's always somebody else. And this shit is bringing you to a point where it is boiling up and you about to like crack the fuck off on this person. And that's why it's like you got to separate from this. And I feel like it's a toxic like soul tie here that needs to be fucking destroyed because without a doubt... This whole fucking shit is, is childish as hell. There's no doubt in your mind about that. This back and forth, all of this, 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 it's childish. It is childish. 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 I want to know the person that you're dealing with, if they could talk to you and tell you what it is that they feel and what's going on in their mind just so that you could know. Because it's like. If this person sees. That they literally. The confusion that they're bringing into your life. Is you know. Bringing out the worst in you. Why. why you know. I, I don't get it. And especially if, you, if you're not. Going to you know only want to be with the Scorpio if you don't only want to be with the Scorpio why still hold on to the Scorpio do you see what I'm saying so it's just like what do they have to say because you can do anything that you wanted to do and if you got somebody else go do that why are you still holding on to Scorpio for you know so let's see what this person has to say oh lord Jesus no Okay, so this person is saying, like, we'll be together soon. We'll be together again soon. You feel like home to me, but maybe we're just too different. So I feel like with this being said, it's like, this person, I feel like felt intimidated by you. I feel like you intimidated this person, Scorpio. I feel like... Your passion was too deep. Your love was too deep. Your loyalty was too deep. And I felt like they were hypnotized and they were amazed and allured by it. But at the same time, they were scared because they knew that if I'm going to deal with Scorpio, I got to be serious about this. And I don't think that this person was really ready to give you that same level of love and intensity that you were giving them because y'all are just so different. But at the same time, they knew that this is where they're supposed to be. It's like this person knows that y'all were meant to be together. And that's why they're saying we'll be together again. But we're just too different. And this person knows that they got to get on a certain level. And I really do feel like this person goes and they date down you see what i'm saying so scorpio y'all might be frustrated and i feel like maybe this that's why it brings out that dark night of the soul that's why it brings out this rueful this ruthless scored energy is because all of the people that you've been seeing this person you know throwing you to the side for they're like low level fucking like dollar tree grade level bitches or dudes or something and you like I know you're not carrying me for this. Like, especially for my Scorpion dudes. Like, you like, um, I know you're not carrying me for this crumb bum ass nigga. Like, I was giving you everything and this is who you carrying me for. But I feel like this person was in like and truly intimidated, was truly intimidated by you. So this just flipped over. I've never forgotten you even though you think I have. All right. Let's see one more thing. One more thing. Anything else? Was that it? What is this? You inspire me. Yep. I told y'all. Scorpio was too corp Scorpio was too intense. They were not used to dealing with a man or used to dealing with a woman that was a real woman or that was a real man. And they 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 didn't have any choice. They had to stand up. They had to 
be a real man or a real woman. They had to stand up and be assertive in a certain role. You couldn't have step with Scorpio. Whatever you in and you out. And they didn't know how to handle that type of energy. This person was unawakened. And that's why they go and date down and... Like I said, childish. And you feel like this person is childish. Like, why? Like, you you just, you just, like, really, truly just don't even understand. Like, seriously. Like, that's what I'm getting. And you've seen the signs with this person. But it was just like, that person was unawakened. And you got sucked down into their, le their level of vibration. And they brought out, they bought that dark side out of the Scorpio. They really did. And I don't really think that you are active in this scorn and ruthless behavior. I just really feel like it's something that's just seeping deep inside because this person keep playing with you. And Scorpio, take yourself out of the arena. Do not let them push you to that point, honey. You already know how we can get. Don't let nobody bring that ugly out of you. You are such a beautiful person. You deserve love. You are nurturing. You are giving. You are protecting. You are providing. You know how we are and how deep we love. Just give that love to someone that want it from you. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like almost like Scorpio is fixated on this love. And it's almost an addiction for Scorpio. Because there's this negative soul tie here with this person. That is very toxic. And y'all need to separate. Do you hear what I'm saying? Your music. Listen. <laughs> your music is your support. I could see. I Because I know I do it. I can see you sitting back, listening to certain songs, crying, purging, getting all of these emotions out. And, it, and after you listen to these these songs and you cry or you playing the piano, I see some of y'all like playing the fuck out of the piano. Like, and you cry like you're like, oh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> do, 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 do. Like playing the fuck out your goddamn piano, crying like shit, but it's a release. It's like a cleansing. That's almost like a bath almost. It is like really your source of support. And then it says your life purpose fully supports you. Okay? So I feel like for my Scorpios that is into music, for some of my Scorpio men, y'all rappers and y'all singers and stuff like that, take everything that you've been going through and pour your heart into, um, pour your heart into your music. And I feel like it's going to be very successful to you. All of this shit that y'all been going through. How you feel scorned and this third party shit and you had to come through and, sh and, and destroy a situation but yet you were still trying to hold on to lingering shit because, yeah. Like, talk about all of this shit in your music because people can relate to it. Your story is relatable, speaker. Speak about it in your music. I just said that shit. Speak about it in your music because people can relate to your story more than you think. Nutrition. Make sure that you're taking care of your body. And like I said, for the people that's been drinking and smoking too much or just doing whatever you're doing, please take care of your body, Scorpio. Please take care of your body. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to teach and educate the people that you can. You know that people, you know everyone listens to you. You know that people love you. You know that people really, you know, come to you for guidance. So you can't support your craft and your music and be able to speak eloquently and it if you're and really give the people the nutrients in the music you're not you're not going to be able to give it the nutrients that um you're supposed to be providing to it you know if you're not taking care of your body your message is not going to be clear okay your message is not going to be clear and i feel like right now that you don't feel protected. And, and what God is, wants you to know. That you are safe and supported. While you're making the change in your career. But you don't feel protected. For some reason. You don't feel like it's safe to go forward. And make a certain change in your career Scorpio. And God wants you to know. That if you believe in it. That I believe in it. You see what I'm saying? 
And maybe right now it might not be the right time for you to move forward because you need to clean up certain things in your life right now. And that's why maybe certain career changes haven't happened as of yet because you have to clean this up, Scorpio. You can't allow these negative people to come into your life that, you know, and even for the first group that I said that you've already detached yourself from these energies and um, you're just out with your friends celebrating and stuff like that. But if it's affecting your kids in a negative way, it needs to stop. You need to retreat from this shit. And, and for the ones that, you know, you're not even dealing with your ex no more. The remnants of your ex in that soul tie still lingers. You still need to separate from this person because this person might not be physically, but in your mind, you still need to retreat. This person's energy is still lingering there. It's still lingering there. And you're still scorned. You're still scorned. And I feel like if you was to see this person, that you will be ruthless and cuss this person out or some shit like that. Like, it's still in your spirit and you have to let that go and i feel like that's why a certain level of protection and, and, and is not there and that's why you're not able to teach and reach people the way that you really want to reach and you're speaking it in your music even though you are supported in this because you're blessed in it you're blessed in it you know but you got to feed your body good stuff you got to feed your mind good stuff you got to feed your environment good stuff do you see what i'm saying otherwise your message is not going to be heard in this in, 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 in the protection that you really need to have there behind this support is not going to fully be there because you're not allowing yourself you know uh uh yeah because so i was about to grab another deck but i feel like i've I already pulled a whole bunch of extra decks out because I was really trying to understand the story because I'm just like, what is this tower moment? This 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 thing is about to come that we don't see coming and this death that we're trying to avoid. Like what are they talking about? Like I was trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you so much. Please clarify. Month of March and let time again. Thank you so much. Please clarify. Please clarify the spread for Scorpio. Oh. They go that three again. And it fell right here. Third party. You need to be clear that this person that you've been dealing with, that it's a third party energy there. This person is, is not fully committed and there with you. And don't be confused. This person has many options. This person has many options. You're always, this, this and this might be a water sign, that King of Cups. He has his back turned to you. And he's offering his cup to someone else. He's working on something with somebody else. And you need to be clear. You need to be clear on that, okay? What is that? The um, that's the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So basically, what I feel like. And it's for some of you, for some of you ladies, I also feel like for the ladies that are single. For the ones that are not dealing with the ex, um, that oh, that are not dealing with the ex, but still has that remnants of that negative soul tie, that the remaining lingering energy of that negative um, situation where there was a third party. Because if you're not still with this person, if you're not still dealing with this person, this is what you went through. All of this down here, this is what you went through and this is what you got away from. But that energy is still lingering there. And you're still you're still attracting, you're still attracting, and you're still communicating with people that still have this third party energy, this third party energy where they be working with other people other than you. You see what I'm saying? And this ain't no counseling or anything like that. And I do want to say maybe some of you guys do need to see counseling. Who any of y'all that are dealing with substance abuse issues, maybe you guys need to go see counseling about that. But you need to get clear that the reason why that you keep attracting these energies 
and, and you're being confused by all of these different options by these people and you're you, I feel like you're attracting you just need to be clear on the fact that the options that you are attracting that they all have this negative third party energy around it because you need to break free from this energy from your past if you still go back to un healthy thoughts about how that person cheated on you and how that person broke up um, with you or how things didn't work out or how you had to leave that person. If you're still like going on to that person's social media page and looking at how this person is with someone else saying fuck them, this, this, and that, blah, 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 boo, boo, boo. You are putting a negative curse on your, on your energy. You can't be scorned and was that scorned and ruthless to the point that that scorn and that ruthless energy is what is making your that what you're attracting to you bad you know because whoever this is I feel like you've been dating like you've been dating two or three people because you've been having communicate you've been having a lot of communication with two or three different guys you know what i'm saying it doesn't mean that you're having sex with anybody but you've been communicating with these guys but these are some fuck boys got the king of cups in reverse playboy don't know how to you know emotionally give his heart to anybody not sure of his emotions emotionless and then you got the king of pentacles in reverse this one is a leech. Just looking for someone to leech on to. Don't really want to work and, 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 and provide and put the work in that it's supposed to, you know, take to make a relationship successful. They just want to reap all the benefits and the rewards of a good relationship without having to work for it. So I feel like you guys have to change your energy and you got to let go of that scorn and ruthless energy that you have towards this person from your past like if this person is not in your life anymore they don't need to be in your energy anymore because you're attracting negative energy back to you and you're attracting a lot of it do you see what i'm saying because i mean there's been a lot of communi communication coming to you there's i mean you got a lot of options scorpio and you're confused by all of these options because all of them is a piece of shit. Because you got to think of the energy that you're putting out, honey. You got to think about the energy that you're putting out. You're putting out and you got to be clear about the energy that you're putting out. Seriously clear about it. And you need to make a lot of effort about being clear about this energy. That's why you keep coming and you keep bumping into these people and you're not you're not paying attention to the signs. You're attracting this energy into your life. You need to let go of your resentment and your bitterness towards this ex. You need to get this person completely out of your energy, out of your mind, body, heart, and soul. And you need to move forward in your life, Scorpio. Let me give you a look. I'm already made this video long enough. It's already like a fucking hour. So what is this? Be honest with yourself. And that's how we're leaving this off. I love you, Scorpio. Peace. And I will see you in the mid-months if this video gave you insight. If it gave you insight. And please put, put all of this shit in your music. Everything that you've been going through, put it in your art. If you draw, put it in your art. Put it in your music. This person was just intimidated. You were too much for them. And that's truly what the tea was. So don't drink yourself to death. Don't stress yourself out about this situation because this motherfucker was weak. It's a weak-ass motherfucker. You can't handle the Scorpio. You you do not pass go. You do not collect $200. Do you understand? So thank you. I appreciate the fact that I inspired you. Because I know I, I am inspiring. Thank you. Because Scorpio, say it now. Thank you. Thank you that we inspire you. Thank you. <laughs> Bitch. Mm -mm. I don't need to feel like home to you no more. Okay? Because... Love don't live here no more. Have you ever heard about that? We'll be in touch again. Maybe not. Mm hmm I've never um I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. That's good to know. Maybe we're just too different. Exactly. 
That's why I got the get it, get it, get it. Ain't nobody got, ain't nobody got time for that. I got asthma. Ain't that what that lady said? Ain't no, ain't nobody got time for that. That's fucking with my asthma, girl. Don't nobody got time for it. I love y'all, Scorpio. Y'all be strong. Y'all let this energy go, and y'all continue to spread that love and light and fix your energy so you can stop attracting bullshit. Please. This is attracting bullshit. You attracting shit that's driving you crazy. I need you to be attracting love and light. You get me? I love you. Peace.